I'd like to start off with a brief overview of Ag Guide with Guidance and Spray Control. So here I have a typical screen uh, with our Guidance and Spray Control. Um, and starting from the top left hand side we have the GPS indicators. So the GPS indicators tell us, uh, for instance this one is uh, how many satellites are seeing, so we have 10 up on the screen. We have our accuracy level, so this tells us that um, we have an accuracy of 0 0.02 metres. And here, because we're in demo mode and not connected to a GPS, we have the number of seconds uh, since we got a last correction from our base station. So if you've got RTK, you'll see some information there. To the far right, we have kilometres per hour, so this tells us our vehicle speed. We also have the swath number we're currently working on, so if you're doing parallel work, skip bro, you can see what uh, number of parallels you've been working on. And then we have the hectare reading, so when uh, the vehicle is actively on and spraying, it's drawing coverage, and it's telling us how many hectares we have covered in this instance, we've covered 3.1 hectares. To the centre of the screen we have the on-screen light bar with an arrow to indicate uh, which direction you need to turn to come back onto the line and also the error in metres of how far you're off the line. So these two work in conjunction to help uh, with quick glance guiding uh, along with the, uh, the main guidance icon in the, uh, in the main display. Under the light bar here we also have the notifications area. So this displays current farm, field and job details. And just to the right we also have the other notification which says whether we're ready to spray or if there's an error in the system somewhere it'll indicate just here on the screen. To the right of the screen we have our zoom out and zoom in functions. So here we can zoom right in to, the, uh, to get a better perspective of the guidance line and our upcoming corners. Or we can zoom all the way out, so I'll just zoom out here, and we can get a complete overview of all our coverage lines and also our boundary file. So we'll just zoom back in there so we can see our paddock. We also have the main menu function, so we get all the uh, our vehicle and implant and GPS setups, which we'll walk through in a little in a in the next session. And then we also have our master run hold. So this is where we turn the guidance on and off, so it will stop drawing coverage uh, when we stop, for instance. To the bottom of the screen we have our section indicators for auto boom switching, so this tells us the number of sections we have um, here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 sections. We can also change the state of each section, so if we, at the moment when they're blue that means they're in automatic mode, or we can change them to force the section on, so if you're doing a fire break or something, a, a fence jet nozzle that you have might have plumbed into systems, you can force the section on, or you might want to force the section off if you uh, you don't want to overspray uh, something that you have in your field. So you can press it again and it'll turn red. And as you see on the screen here, that that section will be forced off. So it's no longer in automatic mode. And you can go through each one of those sections. You can turn them on and off here. So we're forcing them all on. And when we go back the other way, as you can see, we're forcing each section off. And then we want to put them back into automatic. We just make them all blue. And then the auto boom switching is back into full automatic mode again. To the Just to the left here we also have the master switch, so if you press on uh, the line 1 you'll actually see that they can be forced all on, be forced all off, or they can be put back into automatic mode. To the left of the screen we have the spray control box, so this shows us the current target rate um, as well as the system pressure if a digital pressure sensor is installed. If you click on the application box we uh, get a few more options here which is our uh, spray setup. So what it tells us here, it tells us how many litres we've applied so far, uh, when it's empty in how many minutes and how many hectares and it also gives us a sliding scale um, coverage map so as you can see on the right hand side the map is currently red because we're applying 50 litres per hectare. If I use the down uh, button here you'll see that it changes colour saying that we're now applying at 35 litres per hectare. So that'll go all the way down on a scale uh, down to 10 and then we, when we put it back up to 50 again you can see that the colour changes.